I love you. Happy birthday. Here's the new Harley Davidson. How many times have we actually delivered tools that are not for our customers, but are for ourselves? Would you really give your mom a Harley Davidson? Now, there may be a few moms out there who want that, but most of the time that's just not true. And yet, in our daily work, we keep on delivering inappropriate products for the wrong people because we're thinking of ourselves and we're making something for ourselves. And this isn't because we're evil, it's because we're following the golden rule. We're doing to others what we want for ourselves. But unfortunately, when you look at the vast majority of people who are working in the software industry, they're what Alan Cooper would describe as homo logicus. And they're sort of a strange breed. Because we love control. We're fascinated by complexity. We want to learn about new technology. We want to see results within the system itself. We love learning about new technology. And therefore, we see a, a proliferation of applications that are really only appropriate for 25-year-old males with a computer science degree. I want to suggest that this is self-centered. And we really need to remember that we are not the customer. We are not the people who are going to actually be using these things we develop. And so, it's time to think of mom. Picture your mom. Picture your mom. Most likely, She's somebody who is not that fascinated by technology. She's not using Facebook because she wants to see the new chat feature or some cool API. She's using it because she wants to be able to communicate and keep up with her grandkids. She's, as, as John Oliver said to Ed Snowden in their famous interview, don't teach me new stuff. I don't want to learn about technology. I just want to get on with my life. So she wants a real, not a virtual life. And frankly, sometimes these new tools, these new technologies make her feel stupid. And that's the worst thing because your mom's not stupid. She's quite a brilliant person and she's done so much for you because she has that empathy. She has that ability to consider other people in front of herself. Otherwise, you would not have survived to adulthood. <laughs> so, I want to suggest today that we can, we can do a lot better by abandoning the golden rule and replacing it with a new platinum rule. And the platinum rule is, do unto others what they want for themselves and consider what they want. Now, given the current structure and demographics of the IT industry, this is going to be really hard unless we make some fundamental changes. Frankly, we are not welcoming to people who come from outside the IT industry. Why don't we encourage more people from the social sciences to join us? Product owners would be far better in the majority of cases if they were not computer scientists but we're social scientists, or psychologists, or, best of all, moms. <laughs> and so, if we want to do better and deliver products that are really valuable to our customers, not just what we want, but what they want, I have a great wish and a challenge for all of you. How can we invite more moms into our industry? because they are the ones who can lead the way into the future and make sure that we're actually delivering value for the people that we're working for. No more delivering a Harley Davidson. Let's give her some nice flowers. Thank you very much. <laughs>